Om Shanti. All of you, you can hear me. <clears throat> yes, Om Shanti. Okay, lovely. Let's start the session. Come into the sitting position. Keep your back, neck straight, aligned. Gently close your eyes. <clears throat> Go into your posture. Observe the alignment, how you are sitting. Now, take a deep, prolonged, slow inhalation. Deep, prolonged, slow exhalation. Inhale and exhale with awareness. Now inhale for the three time Om. Take a deep breath. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Feel the vibration and sensation. Join your both palms. Drop your palm. Place on your eyes. Very slowly while blinking, looking at your palm. Gently open up your eyes with a great smile. Bhutan. Say Om Shanti. Om Shanti. So, today we're going to understand about the Prakriti. Till now, we discuss about how the diseases are formed, right? We discuss about three dosha, agni, mala, ama, saptadhatu. And we understand the link between each one of it. Sri Guna also we discuss, Panch Mahabhut, we also discuss about it, that how everything is linked and any imbalance occur in these things, any of one would be going balance, it causing the problem in psychological level and physiological level. Now, further we have to also understand that disease is also related with the personality. A one kind of personality get more kind of particular kind of disease. To understand that, you have to understand the personality, its type, is their, their behavior pattern. So Ayurveda, in Ayurveda, there is a division and very beautifully it explains that what is a personality. So today, we're going to talk about Prakriti. 
प्रकृति पी आर ए के आर प्रकृति पी आर ए के ए आर आई टी आई प्रकृति प्रकृति इफ मींस द नेचर द एट्रीब्यूट्स द क्वालिटीज so there is a two division in the prakriti in the division one is a mola prakriti m double o l mool m double o l mool prakriti p r a k a r i t i prakriti मूल प्रकृति मींस परमानेंट प्रकृति देन अस्थाई प्रकृति ए एस टी एच ए ए एस टी एच ए वाई आई अस्थाई अस्थाई अगेन यू कैन राइट इट डाउन प्रकृति so division 2 mool prakriti the the whatever you are seeing the types of the human being right we have division like certain factors make you you how you behave how you talk it's passing from generation to generation to the color the skin you know the feature of your face you have beautiful features right nose beautiful eyes hair these everything is decided by this prakriti which make you okay so the combination the perfect combination of vata pitta and kapha is deciding your structure so if like vata get combinated with the kapha more then you have different kind of structure your features and your structure your behavior pattern gonna change and if you have different combination of the kapha and pith then you have different kind of personality the prakriti prakriti means your nature attributes your feature would be different which makes you you which make me durgesh i have certain characteristics right the characteristics uh, which i'm a human being the great species of this planet but uh, i'm different from the rest of the people that differentiation happen of this prakriti so we have moola prakriti which is permanent prakriti then we have asthai prakriti asthai means temporary not permanent temporary which keep on changing the human being has these both combination you have mula prakriti and temporary prakriti as well okay so if i'll show you something the chart it give you more explanation <clears throat> just <clears throat> I think I have a gesture. Hmm. 
Oh, it's a jet haragni. Just a moment. The chart is visible to you, uh, which is written as Thai Prakriti, that is a Mula Prakriti, and then as Thai, I talked about it. You have to write it down. So, Mula also called Thai Prakriti, it means the permanent Prakriti. Okay, then the, as Thai Prakriti, the temporary Prakriti, A S. T H A Y A I Asthai Prakati P R A K A R T I. Okay, that is a, another division of the Prakati. So, Mula Prakati basically gives you the structure. Mula Prakati gives you the structure like the factor which is affected the mula prakriti is it, it's coming from your parents half chromosome is taken from the your mom and half is taken from your father and then this uh, the this whole this uh, two mating make you one right so half characteristic is coming from your mo uh, mother and half is coming from the father then this is your parents factor, which is including in the Mula Prakriti or Thai Prakriti, another name, okay? Then the climate factor, if you observe, uh, if you are, your parents are living in Japan, so different Asian body structure and skin and the feature is completely different from the European, you know, countries, people. I look like Indian because I have the, you know, climate factor here. Indian climate is affecting my generation to generation, right? So Indian fact, Indian climate factor also include in the mole prakati, which like particular kind of skin, particular kind of height, particular kind of eye structure you would be, you would be gonna have. That is also, yes, eye color, eyebrows, the features is coming from your parents as well, but also through the climate as well. Then your ancestor, generation to generation, your grandparents and their grandparents, it's also, this is in your gene, certain characteristic passing from generation to generation and which is in your gene, right? That is the Mula Prakati, which cannot change. It's not like, right, you born as a Tom Cruise and then when you grow up or you completely grown up, you become the Brad Pitt. Or you born as a uh, Angela Jolly or then you become Billy Eilish. Right? These are the pop singer and actor, actor and actress. So, it's not like you're born as a Durgesh and then you become Christina or something. No, you are seen, right? It's because of Mula Prakati, which is not going to change till your death, which is remain. You have features, you have body structure, which include the climate factor, your ancestor factor, passing from generation to generation, your parents factor. What kind of semen? and the ovum is given to you, that make you perfect, which make you, you, you're gonna behave, even certain problems you pass, is, which we call inherent. It's coming from the parents to parents. It doesn't mean that you, you cannot get the cure of that. If you maintain your lifestyle, yes, inherent disease is also curable, but, even modern science is doing the research that your everything is passing, even the habits pattern you have in your cellular level. It is in your DNA. In the genetic, you know, when people are, who is understanding the genetic uh, 
uh, science. So Mola Prakriti is basically about the genetic science. It's generation to generation and climate and everything is including, but it's, we cannot bring the change into it. So Mola Prakriti is imperfection. You're born with the sickness. It's like you're in balance. It's not like you're perfectly balanced. You're born with the disease. Maybe mental, physiological level, psychological level, any kind of problems you're gonna have it, but it is present in your gene. Because your parents are not practicing the yoga or other things, right? So that's the soil and the water is corrupt, then sheet, whatever you are implanting the sheet, that's also going to affect. See, the sheet which you become, if you don't have proper environment, so it's going to affect the Mula Prakati. 95% of the, you know, children get psychosomatical and psychological problems till the age of uh, five. So this also, and then later on, they slowly, gradually developing it. But when the child is conceived in Mula Prakriti, it's very important. Are you with focus on this one particular point? It's not like when you get the baby and then you have to uh, take care of the environment, like mother should be happy and uh, she should get the perfect environment. No, even at the time of conceiving, at the time when these two people are going to meet, they decided having the baby, that also very much important. And it was the Asian culture in India when kings, you know, plan the baby because they have to pass their thrones to the upcoming baby. And so they take the help of astronomy, astrology, studying the stars and the moon, perfect environment they are creating to have particular kind of baby, a great yogi or the great king. So even outside environment, they, because factor in all the, even position of the stars, moons and sun, everything is planet position. It's very much countable when we are conceiving the child, which we call uh, Garbha Sanskar. But now it's lost. Now this practice are completely lost. We are not focusing on when baby come, uh, it's, you conceive and then later on we are focusing on the other things. But actually the uh, astrology is related to at the time of conceiving. And even the parents should do the certain practice, they do more meditation, more remain into the calm, peaceful state. So the coming baby would get the proper environment. What kind of intention you are planning the children, that's also very much important. That's why when nature gets the perfect environment and they get um, the perfect uh, parents, then yogis are born. Lord Buddha, Lord Rama, Lord Krishna, Lord Shiv, or uh, Vivekananji, Swami Vivekananji, uh, Swami Krishna, Paramahans. These are the great names, great yogis, modern and ancient. The climate is, and their parents, as you know, factor. You, you can, if you did, want to have this is the biggest action this is the biggest remember the pushata pushata is like two con producing the next generation so girls this is my humble request if you want to have the baby make sure this would be the conscious effort you are doing it's not just a one day out of pleasure you did the mistake but it has to be conscious effort because you have the, you can bring the change in the upcoming generation. Now, if you want to look, environment is changed, intention is changed. So we are producing the drug addicts, people, and the children, young generation going towards more the drugs, more um, addicted towards these 
tribal, tribal things in their life. Why? Because the parents are not, you know, our intention we are not putting into the right direction. And so everything gonna change. So Mula Prakriti related to uh, ancient time, okay. they do the practice. It was a huge sanskar. It means huge ritual practice did by the kings in order to get the best baby. Uh, and uh, you can decide that thing as well. It is in your hand. But for that, parents has to do lots of effect. A lots of workout they have to do. They have to be yogi before conceiving the child. Like at least their three dosha should be valid. But now lots of problems are coming to the upcoming generation. Why? Disabilities, they are disabled baby, autism baby. Why? Because parents are not taking care of themselves. And then we're figuring out, we are blaming that, I don't know what happened, uh, why we are having these issues. Everything died is good, everything is good, but still we get, the baby is born with the problems. I think all the babies born with the problems now because the, those things, those practices are lost now, which was a very great part which can bring the change in the whole environment. Now we require the yogis. So if we correct the mula prakriti at the time of conceiving, we keep, make ourselves perfect. So we give the perfect environment to those um, energy, those good soul. Um, it's a little bit, people do, those who do, do not believe in the soul signs, that's okay. But we are giving the perfect environment to the good energy. Good energy you will conceive, which can bring the change into the society. So Mula Prakriti, then Asthai, which we call Sthai Prakriti, means permanent, which is not going to change. After you born, you conceive, then you're not going to bring the change. Before it, you can bring the change in the Mula Prakriti. Okay, then Asthai Prakriti, again, Asthai Prakriti is related with which temporary Prakriti, which keep on changing. The change, how it's changing with the environment, which place you are moving on. Like earlier, you are in European, you are living in the European country, you look like European, but now you move to the India continent and especially the Goa or coastal area. So your skin texture gonna change. You feel more humid. You have lots of sweating, right? Skin texture gonna change. Your habit, your, uh, your activity also gonna change. So climate gonna affect your skin, your hair also. You feel lots of sweat, lots of oil in your scalp. In, Europe, in European countries, so much cold. So that time you have lots of dryness, but now the climate is changed. So skin type is gonna change. Then food, whatever food you are giving to that particular environment, that's also gonna change your prakriti. Like earlier you are having different kind of food, now you are having different kind of food. So what kind of lifestyle, what, it, what kind of diet, what climate you are living, that gonna change your personality. Which is bringing, when you move, some people, if you feel, when we go for traveling for one week or two weeks, you feel constipated. The inner prakriti is changed because it's affecting the outside environment. So mostly the kapha prakriti, those who are having kapha, uh, born with the kapha prakriti, they feel more constipated because they are too much attached with their surrounding. And when they move, they travel somewhere else, they're constipated. They're not able to go for the poo because the toilet, they, they don't feel comfortable with the even their bathroom is changed. So they feel a little bit. So it's related to the mind as well. So 
prakriti change the sthai prakriti which is again the factor which is affected as sthai prakriti the climate again then what kind of diet if you are having too much spicy food during the summer then you feel the more heat if you take less spicy food so you feel very calm when climate is changed you change your diet right that's also to bring the peace all the people during the summer they enjoy the cold beverages comparatively to the hot beverages in winter you enjoy the hot beverages and so you feel the you feel the change in your uh, emotion as well you enjoy you you find more enjoyment in these two beverages when climate is changing so a sthai prakriti what diet you are having what kind of lifestyle you are living like you born with the heavy body easily you gain the weight for you to losing the weight is difficult is difficult for kapha personality to losing the weight is difficult they easily gain the weight but if they work really hard they gonna lose the weight the drink doing more hard work morning and evening they gonna lose the weight so what kind of activity you are doing what kind of lifestyle you are doing that's also affect your asthai prakriti you have the choice mool prakriti you have the choice before you born so it is about your parents right they gonna do whatever they have to, they need to do before conceiving then you gonna change you can bring the mool prakriti change. but asthai what right now you are doing, the present you can change your future so asthai is all about you can remain the healthy if you maintain your diet your lifestyle and everything you are perfect uh, you maintain your health you achieve your health but if not you going to bring the imbalance in that so moola prakriti and asthai prakriti then we have sapt prakriti sapt prakriti this whole world though the swami vagbhar ji uh explain his research basically based on the indian people and indian climate never traveled across the world so if this uh, the concept whatever he's bring he's written down in astanga hit them is based on the indian climate indian people but actually even i i have a, it is my personal observation i got this thing this is suitable for everybody this whole world generation sapt prakriti he has given these seven types of the prakriti in ayurveda sapt prakriti s a p t sapt s a p t sapt prakriti p r a k a r t i prakriti sapt prakriti what are these vat pit kapha vat pita kapha pita vat kapha and vat pit kapha these are the seven types of the personality don't worry about it tomorrow we are going to discuss about it vat pit and kapha okay these are vat pit and kapha these three called dominant personality is like single personality vat pit and kapha it means you born with the vat qualities you have or pit dominant personality means you born with the pit qualities then kapha you born with the kapha dominant personality these are the three dominant personality vat pit kapha pit and vat kapha these called combination personality these personalities mean two combination two com dominating more than the one <coughs> so, so this whole world having the seven types of the personality tomorrow class we going to talk about one by one 
the characteristic physiological psychological their occupation how they behave the sleep pattern their memories these things we come to discuss about in detail okay so tomorrow i'll give you the another chat so question answer time any doubt any problems any question i have question uh you say uh, for the mula prakriti uh, usually you can see from the baby born they got for example uh physical or psychological uh sickness hmm. up to 5 years old so after 5 years old it's all gone no like no that? <laughs> no it's not like that i'm saying so, till the 95 uh, like 95% of the brain is you know activated like whatever they want to learn till it till the age of 5 year they learn everything okay they learn everything but after 5% of the brain activation happen when we become more social and we learn fake things and other things but actually 90 uh 5% of the brain is activated in the child when he was in the um five till the age of 5 year it means they learn most of the things at the age of 5 after that then this slow learning start happening but mostly children uh, so they start learning in the womb you know when you are in the womb of your mother you start learning from that you start mm -hmm. understanding the surrounding and many you know research done over that and even in our asian text we have these things that many great uh, chill you know great warrior and great yogi is born uh, to the you know to in their era in their time they started learning in the womb of their mother but oh, right. Mm -hmm. that i mean sickness we all are sick mm -hmm. <laughs> we mm -hmm. born with the sickness psychological mentally psychosomatic whatever but uh -huh. we have sickness. okay we are not healthy because mm -hmm. our parents are not healthy our ancestors not healthy they are not yogis so and we are the you know print of them actually we are the copy of them so we have the goodness we have their flaws as well but yes how we get the fitness and health and perfection it required the hard work ayurveda say yoga also say that you born with lots of flaws but yes you have the choice to come out there is a method there is a technique there is a way to come out and to become to attain the perfection so you have the sickness but you have a solution as well but to to become perfect to get the help to become a yogi you require to implement that solution in your life to follow the path okay and path is following the path of yoga if you want to be a yogi and here you have to follow the path of ayu clear clear thank you thank you so let's end the session here with chanting the om come into the sitting posture keep your back neck straight align gently close your eyes go into your asan take a deep long slow inhalation the prolong slow exhalation now once you are comfortable within your posture with the help of inhalation and exhalation 
inhale for the three time more. Take a deep, long inhalation. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Feel the vibration and sensation. Join your both palm, grab your palm. Place on your eyes. Very slowly while blinking, looking at your palm. Gently open up your eyes with a great smile. Calm. Om So meet you at meditation class. Bye-bye, take care, bless you.